Boosting a 24 volt system sucks. So you have to remove your jumper for positive to negative to create the 24. If you want to charge the battery faster, your first set of cables will go to the first battery and then you got to use a jumper. So this jumper goes from this negative to this negative and then this goes from this positive to this positive and charges both batteries at the same time. Just a total fuck around because you can't actually boost 24 unless you have a 24 system so now you have to just charge it and wait. So it kind of fucks you over and makes you wait a while. So just a correction guys there. Uh, you can't actually boost 24 volt systems with a 12 volt truck. So any pickup truck will be 12 volts. You can charge the system. So I've got a video attached that will show you how to do that. Um, it does take longer. If you don't have patience, it's not gonna start the first time. You're better off to just wait, say half an hour, 45 minutes, let those batteries charge. On the other side, if it's cold out and the batteries are dead, you're probably gonna have to pull them out and put them in the cab and you're gonna have to thaw them because they will be frozen. But this will help you with um, charging 24 volt system with truck. So what I've done is I've gone from my truck to one battery that I've taken the jumper off of. So you'll charge one battery separately and then you're going to take a set of jumpers or another set of booster cables and you're gonna go positive to positive and negative to negative on the second battery. And that will charge the whole system to 12 volts. And then once you put your jumper back on, it will turn it into 24. Make sure your booster cables are off when you reconnect. Otherwise, you're going to blow everything up in your truck and probably screw a lot of stuff up. Anyways, here's the video. Sorry for taking so long, but didn't really want to be liable if someone tried to actually boost a 24 volt excavator with a 12 volt truck. So I assume no liability for this at all.